Hello, and welcome to Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world. And the world to New Zealand. Hey, um, to, I, I just, sometimes I get frustrated. I feel like when I listen to the news, watch the news, some of the stories, although they might qualify as news stories, they're just a little bit obvious. And we didn't really need to be told. This one, for example. The future of the Auckland NRL 9s could be determined by how many people turn out to Eden Park this weekend. Um, apparently, uh, the nines and all other events in the city won't continue if people don't attend them. See, I don't think, I don't think that's a news story, is it? it? If people don't turn up to things, they'll probably start having those things. I'm just not quite sure why we had to spend, you know, 30 seconds of a news bulletin telling people that. Anyway... Uh, what is news, of course, is uh, the, the, the big question mark over the health of 2,500 Auckland children this morning after they seem to get their lines crossed at, a, at an Auckland uh, dental clinic, uh, which meant that some of the, the sucking turned into blowing, and it meant that anybody who... Uh, went in there to get the dental treatment uh, with hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, all those unpleasant things. Uh, may There's a slight chance that they could have infected uh, some other kids. I mean, not that many kids have those diseases, so we're hoping not. Anyway, as a result of all this, uh, according to the news this morning, many parents have taken to social media. So... You know, I'm sure it'll all be sorted. Of course, uh, the really the really good news out of this, kids, is that's right. Not only is this the week that you've all had to go back to school, uh, and you know you love going to the dentist or the dental nurse anyway. The great news here is now you're all going to have to be <laughs> tested for uh, hepatitis and HIV. You're the two and a half thousand kids who. You've already had to go to the dentist, have fillings or whatever great time that was. And now they're going to be sticking needles in you to test you for potentially life-threatening diseases. <laughs> what a great start to 2017 for those kids. Uh, finally, there are some crucial, crucial details uh, with some stories, aren't they? Aren't there? Uh, an unexploded mortar shell has been found by children... Uh, in the west coast gold mining town of, of, of Waiuta. Waiuta. Never heard of this town, but it must be true because it's in our news. A bomb disposal team was called in shortly before 1pm yesterday. Turned out to be an old unexploded mortar round. And here, I'm so glad that they put this detail in. Otherwise, uh, this story you know, would be interesting, but not really interesting. The mortar was found near the public toilet of the Department of Conservation Historic Reserve. At the ghost town, see, there's all these, they, why were these details at the top of the story? Because, you know, we could have made funny jokes about bombs and toilets for a start and, and explosions. And also it's a ghost town, this, this, this historic West Coast gold mining town. So we've got, we've got ghosts doing bombs and toilets. Come on. There would have been a huge better story. Very poor standard of news coverage today, I, I, my, is, is my feeling. Anyway, what do I know? I'm Glenn ZB. Thanks for having me up your periscope. I'll see, see you back here again uh, for uh, hopefully a better standard of news tomorrow.